Hey friends, today we're in Disneyland. How awesome is that? I am so excited. This is my first time ever coming and making a video here at Disneyland and what a time to come. The Main Street Electrical Parade is coming back today. World of Color, Disneyland Forever and I am so excited. I traveled from Orlando, Florida to Anaheim, California and we are going to ride all the rides I've been wanting to ride and eat all the food that I've been wanting to eat. Anywho, let's Let's go do this. I am probably gonna have to apologize in advance because I know that I'm gonna be super giddy and super happy today and it's probably not gonna be as smooth as the videos I've made in the past but that's because I'm just so excited to be here and I'm happy to actually share it with you guys and bring you guys along on this beautiful Disneyland day. Living in Orlando, I go to Disney World almost daily, but being here at Disneyland, it just feels different. It feels so much more magical, and I cannot wait. Like, I'm a big Disney history kind of guy, and this is it. This is, this is where it all started. I can't believe I'm about to walk into Disneyland right now. Here you leave today and enter the world of yesterday, tomorrow, and fantasy. <laughs> this is it. This is, this is, this is, Disneyland. Luckily, I have multiple days here at the Disneyland Resort, so I want to just like go, 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 but we're going to have a couple of videos, so we're just going to kind of focus on the things that I'm really excited to do and the things that I can't do in Disney World, like the rides, like the Matterhorn and Indiana Jones and stuff like that, and just kind of take it easy, but at the same time, like freak out. <laughs> wow, look at how magical this is. Like, this is my first experience walking in here right now. <laughs> I love it. We're gonna make our way down Main Street, but look at, look at this. I love it. Chip and Dale just hanging out here. Minnie's over there. This is too good. I, I, I told you I'm gonna be very giddy. Wow, just taking a look down Main Street USA here in Disneyland, it is so amazing and so much history. Of course, we've got Sleeping Beauty Castle at the end there. I can't wait. I mean, there's so many things I want to do. Oh, look at this. Oh, 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 oh. I could just stand here all day. Yep. Hi, how are you? Good morning. Thank you. Oh my lord. Okay, I need to get it together. <laughs> like I said, we have multiple days here, so we're gonna have plenty of opportunities to do a lot of fun stuff, but I wanna go ride a ride, and I think I'm gonna start off with the Matterhorn. I bought Genie because, like I said, I'm going all out, and uh, we're gonna see how much we can get done. I know that it's going to be a very busy day in the park today because, like I said, the Main Street Electrical Parade is coming back today. And also all the merchandise and like the popcorn buckets, which the popcorn buckets are just like so beautiful. So everybody's lined up to actually get all the merchandise. And this is park opening right here. So it is going to be a busy day, but it's okay. No matter what, I'm just happy to be here. My first lightning lane of the day, I picked the Matterhorn. And I am so excited because the Matterhorn went down during my lightning lane time. So I got a bonus like lightning lane selection. So it's back up now. So we're gonna go ride the Matterhorn and then we're gonna go ride Indiana Jones. Look at this. I am just so happy. There's the Matterhorn right there. There's the castle. Look, this is amazing. I just love how characters are just walking around the park now. Hi friends, <laughs> look at that. Oh wow, this is really magical here. The monorail going through the Matterhorn here. Captain Hook is just hanging out because he's Captain Hook and that's what he does. <laughs> I mean, this is amazing. Wow, I can't wait to ride Alice in Wonderland. And here it is, the Matterhorn bobsleds. And it's not quite open yet, but it looks like it is gonna reopen any second now. So we might not use our lightning lane, like our redemption here, and use it for something else and still be able to ride it without waiting. But this bobsled run is a high-speed turbulent roller coaster type ride through Matterhorn Mo Mountain that includes sharp turns and sudden drops and stops. Here we go. I'm so excited. <laughs> Oh, and I'm going to be the first one. I'm going to be the first one of the day. <laughs> this is the greatest thing ever. <laughs> All right. <laughs> wow. 
style. Thank you. Right this way, Bob Slutter. <laughs> this is great. I am so happy right now. Oh, we're going in. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little scared, but I'm so excited. Oh, 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 the excitement! It's building! Ooh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my lens! Oh, oh, boy! Oh, man! <laughs> oh, the water! That was amazing. <laughs> that was seriously so amazing. That was so awesome. One of my all time favorite rides. Wow, I love it. And I feel like I'm doing a good job so far. I mean, we've only done one ride, but if you're a Disney World local, I think doing Matterhorn when you first get here is a good start. Now I think we're gonna do Indiana Jones and then Mr. Toad. I feel like those are great lineups. The cool thing is, is we were the first rider on the Matterhorn bobsleds for the day because it didn't open with the park. It was down before the park even opened and we got to ride it first and we didn't have to wait. And then we got a bonus lightning lane that we're going to probably use for something else later. And now we have our regular lightning lane that we're going to go ride Indiana Jones for. So like, it's really awesome that we just get here and we're going to be able to ride three rides without waiting. Now let's make our way over to Adventureland and ride Indiana Jones. Oh boy, I am so excited. There are so many things I want to eat here, but it's too early in the morning and we're going to be here for a while. But so many restaurants I want to check out. I want to get some of the Bengal barbecue sticks, the skewers. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I have a list and I'm going to be checking it. One thing that I immediately noticed is the wait times are substantially lower here at Disneyland compared to Walt Disney World. Like, I'm kind of shocked. Today's a very busy day today too because it's the return of the Main Street Electrical Parade in Disneyland Forever, so the park is busy and the wait times aren't bad and it's easy to get lightning lanes with Genie Plus. Big difference. Just take a look at these lightning lane selections. Like we could just go ride the Haunted Mansion in like 20 minutes if we wanted to. And that's like something in Disney World you really don't have the option to do. Like if you want to book a lightning lane, it's not like kind of right up next. Like you have to wait like two or three hours. So this is impressive. We're gonna head on into Indiana Jones Adventure. This is one of my all time favorite rides and it's a 45 minute wait, but we can actually, we have our lightning lane, but still, stop. it's shocking that's a 45 minute wait. This off-road journey is a high speed turbulent ride adventure over rough and rugged terrain that includes sharp turns and sudden drops. It's unlike any ride you've ever experienced. A rough and rugged terrain, and then suddenly you are turning sharply and dropping suddenly. It is unlike anything you have ever experienced, I assure you. Oh boy, here we go. You have chosen the path. This path leads to timeless youth and
already want to ride it again. Like, <laughs> I'm getting off right now, and I already want to ride it again. We're definitely going to ride it more than once. Indiana Jones was amazing. Now I want to go enjoy a little bit of the ambience of like the castle. I decided to mobile order a Matterhorn macaroon, a coffee and a cinnamon roll from the Jolly Holiday Bakery. And I figured we'd go have some coffee and some pastries and just stare at the castle. And here we are, the Jolly Holiday Bakery Cafe. I am so excited to eat all the food here in Disneyland. Like, I wanna try everything, like everything. So like, here I was just gonna get like the uh, Matterhorn macaroon, but I was like, oh, I should try the cinnamon roll while I'm here, because I don't know when I'll be back, but technically I'll be back probably tomorrow. But that's okay, because then I could try something different tomorrow. All right, here it is. We got ourselves the cinnamon roll. Look at that icing, a coffee, and then the Matterhorn macaroon right here. And I'm so lucky because they said they just sold out. But look at that. No, wait, I don't want to lose that, but I love it, right? The only reason I got this just for this, this moment right now. Eating a Matterhorn macaroon in front of the Matterhorn. That's the way it should be done, and that is the way we're doing it. <laughs> that is so good i love it and you know what the uh i think it's chocolate or icing the, the snow on top of the mountain it's actually really hard but the rest of it is really soft and delicious this is this is so good it's also going to be fun to compare the cinnamon roll to gaston's cinnamon roll which i don't think it's gonna it's not gonna be in comparison like i can already tell by the icing i should have grabbed a fork but i didn't so we're just gonna try to mash it or squash it together. This does not look good when I do it this way, but it'll work. Oh, wow. Okay, that looks good. Once you get in the inside there, all right. Right here, time to find out. All right, that is a great cinnamon roll, I have to say. But I do think Gaston's uh, Tavern, their cinnamon roll is a little bit better. It's more fluffier, I would say. And I like how you get the extra icing there. Maybe you get extra icing here, though. Maybe I should have tried that. But both of them, fantastic. And I'll definitely be back. There's a lot of food to eat on this trip. And I'm going to try to eat it all. I'm a little bit torn because I don't know what I want to do tonight. Like I said, three major things are coming back today. So they've already had like previews of the Main Street Electrical Parade and Disneyland Forever, but World of Color over at California Adventure comes back tonight and they're having a virtual queue. And I didn't even know they were doing a virtual queue, but I ran into some friends who are Disneyland locals and they told me about the virtual queue. So I think I'm going to try to get it. I'm going to try to get it and maybe try to do all three in one night. And here are my Disneyland local friends, Katie and Spencer, Best Life and Beyond. And you guys are the ones that told me about the uh, virtual queue, so we're going to try. We're scared. Oh, yeah, we're in it. We're all sitting here, and I have my coffee, and we're going to try to, we're going to go for it. Fingers crossed. <laughs> okay, so I think we're in here. It's giving me Rise of the Resistance vibes, but I think we're going to do it. Yeah. Well, it looks like we got the virtual queue. Maybe, I don't know though. And if we did, we did. If not, like I said, I'm not really, like I'm gonna see them again eventually. I'm not really worried about watching something the first time. I'm more like interested in having like a Disneyland vacation. And speaking of that, here comes a cavalcade. Hi Mickey. nice little cavalcade and I really like the music for it. Now I think since Mr. Toad's is closed at the moment, I think maybe I will book a lightning lane for Big Thunder Mountain because I want to ride that here as well. Now it's time to make our way into Frontierland and I like this Frontierland so much better than Disney World's Frontierland. Look at this. Oh, 
I cannot wait and I can't wait to ride Big Thunder Mountain because it is like a different ride here and uh, yeah there's so much so much more we haven't gotten to yet you know something really fun just happened to me normally when I'm in a Disney park I kind of know where everything is but I got lost I didn't know where Big Thunder Mountain was and I ran into some friends and they actually walked me over here so I'm glad that we're here now we're gonna use the lightning lane and then uh, book another ride and we still have our original like multi ex like uh, experience pass that we can use for anything I'll probably use it for Space Mountain now it's also really interesting to use the uh, lightning lanes here let's see if it works Bada bing! Look at that! As soon as I touched in here, I already like made another lightning lane, but for the Haunted Mansion. So we have that actually within the hour, and we are making such great time. And look at this, here comes our train. Ooh. I am fearless. This is hands down 100% better than Walt Disney World. Wow. I loved it. And I kept the hat on the whole time. I really wish I had some coins to throw in there. This was great though. Amazing. Seriously, Big Thunder Mountain here at Disneyland puts Disney Worlds to shame. Wow, all I have to say is wow. Big Thunder Mountain here is phenomenal. I love going into the explosion scene. I thought that was so cool. Why doesn't Disney World have that? Like, wow. Anywho's, uh, I do have a lightning lane for the Haunted Mansion, but I do want to go check to see Mr. Toad's open back up because I really want to been, I've really been wanting to ride that ride. And uh, I think we're gonna like do more videos here at Disneyland. I have so much I want to do, but I can't make like a five hour long vlog. Even though I would probably, I, I could probably definitely fill in five hours of footage so I'm gonna try to trim down everything because we are gonna stay for some nighttime shows I just haven't figured out which one I mean I think we have a virtual queue for world of color so who knows <laughs> so we're gonna make our way over to check on mr. toads now and walking through fantasy land here is so magical it's so much bigger and busier but I love it. Oh, and we also gotta do Pinocchio's too, and going to Sleeping Beauty's Castle. Like, there's so many things. I, I am just, I, I, I'm, in, I'm go mode, go mode all day. Oh, it doesn't look like there's hardly any wait for Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Ooh, look at that. Oh wait, there's a little queue in the back there. It shouldn't be too bad. Oh, 20 minutes. 20 minutes all day. Now this ride doesn't accept Lightning Lane though. Look at this little tiny queue back here. It's like a little garden queue. 
Also, I think my allergies are super kicking in over here in California. My eyes are so watery and red and my nose just keeps on running. And I don't know if it's just the air, but I do see a lot of like, like pollen and stuff floating around, but it's definitely, it's hitting me hard. This whole ride actually used to be in Walt Disney World and now it's over here and if you guys don't know you can find Mr. Toad in the graveyard uh, on the exit of the Haunted Mansion in Disney World. So I'm so happy to be able to ride this again. Like this is one of my favorite rides. I love slow dark rides. I love them and here in Disneyland they have like some of the best and that Pinocchio is one of them. Maybe we'll do Pinocchio before we do Haunted Mansion. Like doing Mr. Toad's then Pinocchio then the Haunted Mansion. That's amazing! Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. We're hopping in. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Here we go. We're trying to stay our. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy right now. <laughs> No, not the riverbank. <laughs> <laughs> this is so amazing. It's going to be tough to beat Mr. Toad's, but I think we're going to head into Pinocchio's daring journey. This is another dark ride, but I loved Mr. Toad's. Like, I don't know, sometimes I don't want to ruin the experience of the ride, but I can't hold it back. Like I said, I knew I was going to be giggly, and like riding Mr. Toad's, I was smiling. Like, I wish I could have shown you guys the biggest smile on my face, but it was there. Oh, it, it was there. <laughs> And also, we could do Snow White, which is right next door. And then we have Space Mountain. Like I said, I'm just going to keep on going and going and going and going. It's also really nifty how everything has a turnstile now. Like here at Disney, it still has a turnstile. I can't wait to go into Stromboli's Puppet Theater. Don't these carts look so fun? And there's ours. We're heading on in. Ooh, somebody left their sweatshirt. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Pinocchio was awesome. And did you guys catch the blue fairy? Like, it was so cool. I love dark rides, though. That one's really, really dark. It's hard to see anything in there, but still, it's amazing. Now, I think we're going to make our way to New Orleans Square. We're going to use our lightning lane and uh, do the Haunted Mansion. Do the Disneyland Haunted Mansion. And you guys already know, sometime on this trip, we're going to be trying some Mickey beignets, some jambalaya, all the good food. I don't know, maybe today, actually. I do know I want to get uh, the Bengal barbecue, maybe just like one skewer and then maybe one beignet, or maybe one skewer, one beignet, and one jambalaya. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe. Sadly, I do have to report that Pirates of the Caribbean is closed while I'm here. And the Blue Bayou, I really wanted to get the Blue Bayou, so I'm not going to be able to do that on this trip, but we'll be back. We'll be back. I do want to ride Pirates so bad, though, but they got the walls up. The walls are up. Now we're going to have to make our way over to the Haunted Mansion. Oh, but there's Jack Sparrow, actually. Hi, friend. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah, oh, well, thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Well, that's so cool. Pirates of the Caribbean's closed, but got to see Jack Sparrow. Okay, it has been decided. We're gonna go ride the Haunted Mansion, then we're gonna come back, and we're gonna get something to eat at the French Quarter, and probably still get the Bengals barbecue. <laughs> Look at this. Such a cool Haunted Mansion. I love it. I am so pumped. I've never got to ride this, like this Disneyland version of the Haunted Mansion. Like this is so exciting for me. Look at this. Kind of just in awe as I walk through this queue. Like, I love it. Like, this is so cool looking. Look at this. The Doom Buggies are coming down the stairs. I'll see you all a little later. beat a dead horse here by saying how much better these rides are than Disney World and it's not that they're better it's just that they're I don't know it's something I haven't seen before but in this case everything was like brighter in the Haunted Mansion so I guess that kind of depends on you do you like it more darker and mysterious but I kind of liked it it was brighter and you can see the difference I could see the difference with the camera from filming it and Disney World to filming it here and I love it I love the changes and also I don't know if you guys noticed what I did there with the dead horse and all well I was thinking about going to the French market actually to get uh, some gumbo but I don't think they serve the gumbo here they have the bread bowls but it's a beef stew the gumbo is actually over at Cafe Orleans and I can't get a reservation there so maybe we're just gonna grab uh, the Bengal barbecue for now I think we're gonna head over there and see if we can get in the Cafe Orleans but I do want to try the jambalaya though I need to keep on reminding myself that I'm gonna be here more. I have more days here. Like I'm trying to fit everything in. One day I need to just relax and enjoy. But like I just, I'm so full of excitement. 
Well, 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 what have we here? It looks like I am in luck because I thought I couldn't get the gumbo in the bread bowl, but over here they have the steak gumbo in the sourdough bread bowl. Would you look at that? Looks like we are going to get exactly what we are looking to get. Look at this. Doesn't it look so amazing? And I have to like, I have to put this bread back in here. I don't know why. I just want to see what it's like. Ooh, ooh. We don't want to spill the gumbo everywhere. But then we're going to pull it out. Oh, yes. <laughs> that is what I'm talking about. Now, this is the steak gumbo. And you can only get the chicken gumbo in Cafe Orleans. But I'm still excited just for any gumbo. Like, this is what I've been looking for. And here we go. Oh yeah, that's much too good. This is so good. Oh my lord, I love it. I'm so happy we looked because I was gonna walk away. I was gonna walk away and we were just gonna go get some Bengals barbecue, which I'm still gonna definitely try. And I'm happy that we came back and just looked over here. I ended up getting a little gumbo on my Iron Man Roosevelt shirt. I guess I'm just a gumbo boy in a gumbo land here, but it's okay. <laughs> Now that we got our bread bowl gumbo business taken care of, the Bengal barbecue stand is right here. So I mobile ordered a couple of skewers and I cannot wait to try them. We're gonna get some bacon wrapped asparagus, a chicken skewer, and a pork belly skewer. I wanna try a little bit of everything. Like I said, I'm kind of like in like awe of all the different food items. Like this is a quick service, like a bunch of skewers and barbecue. How crazy is that? And I've been wanting to eat here so bad. It's really cool watching them work back there too. Look at that. Flip those skewers. And here it is. Take a look at those skewers. We've got bacon wrapped asparagus. We've got the chicken with the Polynesian sauce. And then we've got the uh, pork belly one. And this all looks so good. Like this is a quick service in a theme park. Like doesn't that blow your mind? And it was all under $20. Like they're actually reasonably priced. The skewers are like $5 a piece, five, $6. I would eat these every single day if they were at Disney World. Okay, first skewer we're gonna try is the bacon wrapped asparagus one. Wow. The bacon wrapped asparagus is blowing my mind right now. So amazing. And now we're gonna jump into the chicken. And look at the chicken. It's got a nice little Polynesian sauce on it. I still think that this is gonna be my favorite. And we still have the pork belly. We'll just try and each of them. Chicken is up next. Here we go. Wow. All right, we're gonna have to remove the slaw a little bit for the pork belly, but oh boy, look at those bad boys. That shouldn't be allowed. All right, here we go, pork belly. What? Okay, we're gonna go pork belly, bacon wrapped asparagus, then the chicken. But all of them together are phenomenal. And there's still some I didn't get. I wanna try the vegetable skewer, and I wanna try the, the beef, but that's another day. Maybe tomorrow, but not today, because I've eaten a lot today, and I just wanna snack around and try a little bit. But right here, this is the best bang for your buck in Disneyland, I think. And I haven't even tried anything yet, but I'm gonna keep coming back for it. I really like how I'm showing my Epcot eating style, hanging out, eating on a trash can at Disneyland. I bet you I made Epcot proud, but pork belly for the win. Oh my word, those skewers were phenomenal. They were so good, I am stuffed, and I think the best thing to do now is probably go ride Space Mountain. Head on over to Tomorrowland, Ride Space Mountain, that's the best thing to do when you've got a full stomach full of skewers. Well, this is really sad, but it looks like we're not gonna be able to do Space Mountain right now. It's temporarily closed, and I was heading there next, and that's what I was using my, well, saving my lightning lane for since early this morning, and maybe it'll come back up, but I've also come on to another dilemma, because what I planned on doing was probably watching the Main Street Electrical Parade, and then hopping over and watching World of Color. World of Color is first day back is today, and Disneyland Forever and the Main Street Electrical Parade already previewed two, three, like two days ago, but Disneyland Forever is only on the weekends, so 
this might be my only night to see it. I made my way back down Main Street because I think we're gonna have to start thinking about our plan for the nighttime shows and it got super crowded. Like, look at this. A lot of people are excited to watch the return of the Main Street Electrical Parade and everyone's got spots all taken up and it's not for another two hours. So two hours, we're gonna see the parade, then the fireworks, Disneyland forever, and then we're gonna attempt to hop over to California Adventure to catch the last showing for World of Color. But look at, there are so many people here. Like, it's... <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> As I'm hanging out on Main Street USA, I'm noticing a whole bunch of different merchandise for the Main Street Electrical Parade. They have cotton candy, they have the popcorn buckets, they have the sipper, and they have balloons. Aren't those the cutest balloons you've ever seen? I love it. Disneyland Main Street Electrical Parade 50. That is so awesome. I'm sure they light up. You know what? I'm on vacation. I bought a balloon. Look at this. <laughs> I mean, I love it. It's really, really windy out right now, so I hope the fireworks don't get canceled, but I also like how the balloon uh, lights up. Isn't it very fancy? It's gonna light up more once it gets dark out, but the string is so long, look at this. Holy moly. Oh, wow. A lot of people are now here. <laughs> It definitely filled in. Okay, but Mickey is walking down Main Street right now. Look at this. Mickey! Mickey! Wow! What are the chances of Oh, Minnie's on this side too! Oh wait, and there was Pluto! All right, now that we got our balloon, I have a friend that actually has a spot for me to watch the parade and then the fireworks. And, you know, fingers crossed, we're gonna attempt to actually run over to see World of Color. So three nighttime spectaculars all returning tonight. And if we can get it all done, I would feel like that's the perfect Disneyland day. What a perfect first Disneyland day. Look at this, we got a nice spot right in front of the Penny Arcade. And I love it, I can't wait to actually watch the parade come down. And we're front row, so we're, there's nobody in front of us. Bringing wonder and joy to the young and the young at heart. Alive with imagination, it continues to grow. Welcoming new friends and stories, inspiring new generations, and shining into our hearts in its heritage of hope. For its magic celebrates togetherness, and the spirit of Walt Disney's words that welcome the world. To all who come to this happy place, there it is oh my lord
Blind, ship fires, they can even disappear. Elliot, can you show up for all these notes and disappear? I loved it so much, and now it's time for Disneyland Forever. Just imagine, if you were standing right here over 60 years ago, you'd be standing in the middle of an orange room. One visionary man stood right where you are now, but instead of orange trees, he envisioned a magic kingdom. This man's name was Walt Disney, and his dream would be
Amazing. I love the projection mapping on Main Street USA and I love the music and I love the part with Walt Disney and the Orange Groves. That was a, a that was an amazing show. Like I, I loved it. Wow. What a great day. I don't think we're gonna make it to World of Color. My uh, virtual queue is called and it says we have like 15 minutes to get there, but it is so packed here and the line from everyone park hopping over to uh, California Adventure is probably so long, so I'm okay with waiting another day. I'd rather wait another day and close out the video now because this was a perfect Disneyland day to me. Absolutely perfect Disneyland day. I had the best time ever, and I'm so happy to be here again. Like, guys, I am so excited. It was a lot, and then the flight over and everything like that. I mean, I've been going really hardcore, and I love it. So. I think we're gonna call it a day. We got plenty more Disneyland videos. Stay tuned, some resort videos. We're gonna do a lot, and I am so excited to share it with all of you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye!